Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today I want to update you with my indoor citrus plant. As you see, this plant just keeps on growing. And it's getting to the point when it's reaching already the very top of the light system here. I'm using a indoor T5 grow light with four light bulbs. This thing only takes about 98 watts, so very little amount. I honestly barely even notice it on my electric bill. And it looks like the plant is doing quite well. Now I notice a little bit on the bottom leaves, it's starting to put on this tiny hint of yellow. This is probably because the citrus plants are usually very heavy feeders. And if I look at the nutrient level, it looks like it's almost down to nothing. So I'm actually going to be refilling this tomorrow. And I'll show you exactly how I refill my nutrients. It's very simple and easy. And I find that the way I do it now is a lot more efficient than what I was doing before. And you even begin to see, let's quickly just examine the roots, how all these new roots are growing. You could see the color difference. The very tips of each of these roots are nice little white roots growing. And as it gets older, it begins to take on this brownish yellow hint. And as I spin the jar around, you really see just how much the root system has grown in a very short time and you could see it's coming out of right there so that's pretty much what the roots look like for the citrus plant and the cocoa core that it's in is completely dry as you see here if i just move it around completely dry cocoa so i don't touch that at all i, I just keep it dry i don't even spray it it's not necessary the roots down below absorb everything that it needs and if I zoom you back, you begin to really see just how tall this plant is. And being that the plant is already touching, or soon it's going to be touching the lights, it looks like it's just about an inch off. I think it's about time to top this plant. And citrus plants are pretty much apex growers. So as long as you let this thing keep growing, if you have the space, it's going to keep growing straight up. And once you top the plant, that means when you take clipping and cut it off, it's going to send all these side shoots to grow, so it's going to turn this one branch into many. And if I just come in a little closer, you see these tiny little right in between each of these leaves. That's pretty much where the new branches are going to start growing. So in between every single leaf, hopefully I'm going to have new branches and I'm going to have to monitor that as it grows. So let's actually top this together. And the way you know where you want to top it is honestly kind of depending upon you. You could really technically clip this plant anywhere you, you want. But I want to keep it nice and tall. This way it gets nice and bushy. So the very top of the plant, you could pretty much down the, around on the second node. So that, that means the leaf, the baby leaf right there, the very first one. Here's the first leaf. This is the second leaf. So I'm just going to come in and clip that. And you want to make sure you're using a nice clean pair of scissors. And it looks like it's a little bit harder to do with one hand. Let's see if I can get it this second, second go. And this thing is giving me a little bit of trouble. Okay, doesn't seem to want to cut, cut, so let's try it one, the other way. And there we have it. And it's pretty much as simple as that. And as you see now, it's a little bit slightly lower than the lights, so it's going to keep on growing. And as I mentioned, all the side shoots are going to grow. Now here is the piece that we cut. As you see, we have two, two leaves. So just below the second node is where I clipped it. And I'll keep the progress going. And this plant is actually seven months old now. I've grown this thing from seed and I kept it growing in the Kratky system. It seems to be working really, really well. And I honestly really happy with the plant growth. So being that the leaves over here in the bottom are turning 
a little bit yellow. I know that there's a little bit of a nutrient deficiency. But that's understandable because as you see the water level and the nutrients is very low, so there's probably nothing but water left in here in this thing. So we'll keep that going. And tomorrow I'm gonna be refilling this thing. I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that. And hopefully you like the episode. But before we go, I just wanna show you one last thing. Notice how the bottom leaves here are very small. But as you go up higher, the leaves begin to get much larger. That's due to the fact that the lights are closer to the leaves and it has much more energy that it's absorbing. And the lights are much stronger the higher up it goes, being that it's closer to the leaves. So that's why the leaves are different sizes. But overall, I'm very happy with this growth. I'm gonna see how fa just how fast the side shoots and the side branches are gonna grow and we'll see what this plant looks like in about Couple, maybe a couple of weeks I'll show you an update so hopefully you like the episode if you do don't forget to hit the thumbs up and as always subscribe and post messages down below thanks for watching